In this video, we're just going to kind of talk about an introduction uh, to algebra. Uh, but before we do that, we, we kind of have to know a couple of things. And the first thing to know is that the solution to a problem is the value of the variable that makes an equation true. Now, later on, instead of one value, you could have multiple values. But for right now, we're just going to concentrate on one. And then you have uh, another set of things called equivalent equations. These are equations that have the same solution. Now you might think, okay, well that's just silly. Why would we have to say that? Well, you can kind of make things look different. And when you do, they still have the same solution if you do it right. And so if you solve the second one, you've solved the first one. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the third thing is the addition principle. And this idea is for any real numbers A, B, and C. Now, what I want to warn you about here, and it's very difficult for, for people to accept. I know it was really, really hard for me. Uh, but they tell you that they're real numbers. They never tell you what the real numbers look like. And so they can have different structures. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm uh, again what I mean by that and equivalent equations in the following three examples. But for any real numbers a, b, and c, if a equals b, then a plus c equals b plus c. In other words, you can add the same thing to both sides. Again, it never tells you what a, b, and c has to look like. So now, here are three equations. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this very slow and very formally. We are not going to go ahead and skip around like I know some of you, probably your instructors will say, oh, well, in the second one, just subtract five. No, 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 we're not going to do that. This says the addition principle. We can only add. Okay, so we're going to do this very, very, very purposely. Okay, so for this first one, we have a number is equal to a number. This comes from the addition principle for any real numbers a, b, and c. I never said what a had to look like. This on the left side, however, is still a single number. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of decompose that number into its constituent parts. What we are allowed to do is we are allowed to add a number to both sides. The, the only problem here is, well, I don't know how that got there. The only problem here is, what number do you add? So let's try one and just see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So x, mi oop, oop, x minus 3 plus 5 is equal to 7 plus, plus 5. Now when I do this, I get minus 3. I've got to combine like terms. And so I've got a negative 3 plus 5. That's going to give me x plus 2 equals 12. Okay, so now before we even got started, you probably knew what the answer was. Like, oh, well, what minus 3 is 7? Oh, well, 10. So x minus 3 is, is 7, or 10 minus 3 is 7. Okay, x is 10. Well, if I take that same value of x and I come down here, 10 plus 2 is 12. Ah, uh, yes it is. And you'll notice that x was 10 in both cases. These are equivalent equations. They have the same solution. The, the only thing we want to do is we want to choose our number that we add very carefully. Because we want to, our goal is to say x is. In other words, x equals something. Whatever that something is, is the value that x can take. So, I am going to choose, since I want to get x alone, the only way I can get it alone through adding is if I get it in the form of x plus 0. And so I need a 0 here, not a 2. And I can only add. But in addition, there are things called additive inverses. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the inverse of 2, which is a negative 2. We're going to do that to both sides as the addition principle states. Again, like I said, very formally, 
We're going to do this very formally, then we'll learn tricks later. But keep the tricks at bay for right now. 2 plus a negative 2 is 0. And so we can bring that down. And then over on the right side, we get 12 plus a negative 2 is a positive 10. But x plus 0, because 0 is the additive identity, this just becomes x. And so x equals 10. And you say, wait, that's too, way, way too much work. Well, yeah, it might seem to like too much work now, but it, it gets a little tougher to guess what x is later on. And so just take it slow. I'm going to do these same problems in the next video, but take it very slow and do it very deliberately. It, they'll get progressively harder, and I don't want you to stumble just because of the structure of what's about to come.